What's going on? This is Marky Williams and welcome to my channel, Online Certification Courses. This is a channel where you can learn a new skill set or brush up on an old one. Continuous education and improvement should always be priority if you want to stay current in your field of work and plus get paid your worth. Enjoy the tutorial and all the links will be down in the description below. Please make sure you like if this tutorial was informative. Please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any training hobby or DIY projects you may want to pick up. Comment below as to what you would like to get certified in and I can send you a link personally to check out. So let's get started. Starting out tufting could be a costly DIY pro hobby, but keep in mind while purchasing the tufting gun and frames incurred a one-time expense, the true cost lies in the materials. Among it all, yarn proves to be the most expensive, especially if you intend to incorporate multiple colors into your creation. Rug tufting is an old art form that is easy to learn, hard to master. So if you're checking out this tutorial, I bet you're already into this craft and would like to learn more. But if you're new to this and would like to learn tufting process step by step, I also got a video in the description below, along with a book that is going to get released in 2024, in which you could pre-order as well. Rug tufting is an old art form that is easily learned, hard to master. Rug tufting is actually a straightforward process that involves looping yarn or fabric through a backing material. Depending on your end goal, you'll use different types of fabric and tufting tools. Punch needles and tufting guns are available in different options in order to give you a cut pile or a loop pile. Either way, the machine will create a loop pile, but some guns will automatically cut the fibers as you go along to create a cut pile rug. Keep in mind, different types of tufting tools will also accommodate different types of yarn and materials, such as acrylic, cotton, nylon, and wool are four of the most popular options for rug tufting. When it comes to durability and resilience, wool is the most luxurious, while nylon is incredibly strong and easily to maintain. Acrylic unfortunately tends to fuzz over time and loses structure, but is an ideal material for tufting wall tapestry. Finally, when it comes to cotton, this material is soft and comfortable, but prone to stains and more easily. The backing is another facet to consider when you design yarn and tufting tools. Burlap, linen, and monk's cloth are the three popular options. It's vital to regularly take care of your rug, whether you're creating a tufting rug that will be hanging tapestry, sit or on the ground. Regularly vacuum is one of the easiest way to remove surface level dirt and debris. Spot cleaning and treating stains quickly will also improve the rug's longevity and beauty. You're likely to use different types of cleaners. Depending on what type of the yarn or fabric you're choosing for your rug, in any case, avoid excessive moisture, harsh cleaning that may damage the yarn and the deeper base of the tough rug. If you're using a mechanical tool like the tufting gun, then your device will come with specific instructions. Keep in mind each gun has the same general functions, though as each gun punches the yarn through the back end to create a loop, other guns will also have a setting to automatically create a cut pile as you go, while others will simply create a loop that you can leave in as is or go back and cut. When using a needle, you simply create loops through the back end and feed it through so that it'll be your desired height. Again, if you choose to do a cut pile, then you will go back and snip those pieces of yarn at the end of the process. When it comes to the hand tufting with a needle, it's a long process. But if you're crafting it therapeutic and enjoyable for you, then that is time well spent. When it comes to maintaining pressure when holding the tufting gun, the rule of thumb is to apply pressure evenly as you move the gun across the canvas. Never lift the foot of the tufting gun off the cloth. Doing so will lead to tears in the canvas and flaws in the final product. The trickiest part is to maintain the even pressure while the gun is moving. So keep your hands steady and lean towards applying more pressure than less. As a beginner, you need to practice with more simple designs such as the straight line and basic geometrical shapes. Curves and circles are considered advanced shapes to experiment with. This is a one direction flow, meaning the tufting gun direction is up and forward. Don't try to get creative with your movements, there is no turning back. In closing, most tufting beginners like to bite off more than you can chew. Sometimes they set for themselves targets and deadlines, which are hard to achieve. They don't take into account the various problems you might come across while tufting. 
from rips in the canvas to the machine not cutting as straight as expected or the need to adjust their setting too often. You will need to learn to temper your expectation when first starting out. The materials I have mentioned above is top pickings when you need to know what are the best tufting materials. But when it comes to the beginner, doing rug tufting, try to lean toward the cheaper materials when starting out. Knowing that it's okay to make mistakes with the disposable materials, it allow you to be daring and take risk. But if you work more costly materials, it will be too cautious, which will slow down your learning process. Many thanks for taking some time to check my tutorial out. All the links will be in the description below. Please subscribe so you don't miss out on any training, DIY, hobby, passion, project, courses you may want to pick up. Comment below, done, and I will reply back. You can also check out the playlist I've created so you can go straight to that instead of scrolling through my channel. Please make sure you check out these courses as well that's floating around right here. And always remember to learn something new and share it to the world. Many thanks. This is Marky Williams, and I'm out.